Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Deseran, and welcome back to the good life. <laughs> okay, so we're back in and we're chasing this asshole down, whoever the hell they are. At least the lights are on now. Oh, okay. Still got to be a bit careful. I can always come back at any point, I guess. <laughs> oh. The door is open now. Footprints. And they're glowing. There's no mistaking it. These footprints are the same ones I saw by the river where Elizabeth was murdered. I don't care if you're with the army, with some ancient god, or whether you're, a ra you're some random freak. You'll never outrun Naomi Hayward. <coughs> Fair enough. Boom. Where's this door go? Seriously? What the hell? Holy crap. Where am I? Uh... I'm wondering that myself right now. Wow. Cherry blossoms. As far as the eye can see. Wait, wait. Now's not the time for that. I need to keep running. I mean, yes. World's oldest computer complete. Out of place artifact. Aquatic fowl, skinny dogs. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is there a shrine near here? Oh, 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 oh. Well, there's an open kitchen. I mean, I can cook something. I can also sleep if I want. Um, sure. All better now. Woohoo! I guess now we don't need to wait or don't need to sleep. Seriously, what the hell? This is weird. This is really weird. Hey, squirrel. What the hell? Scarab times two. Okay. What the hell? Is that another shrine? That looks like Stonehenge. Warning. RAF Stone... Royal Armed Forces Stonehenge? Excuse me? <laughs> what the f... What in the hell? Am I dreaming? <laughs> RAF Stonehenge. If I'm asleep right now, this is one hell of a loopy nightmare. Hey! Kid! Are you Specs? Patty or Bunny? Huh? Hey! Wake up, kid! Crap! I can't let this scoop get away. What mm. the hell? I saw her raise the bunny up. Here, I don't have a friggin' bunny. Whatever, I'm trying it. Weight limit exceeded. Weight limit exceeded. Oh! What the hell did you just say? If I got any slimmer, I'd float away on the breeze. Naomi, 
That's only because your debt-related stress has done a number on your appetite. Keep using junk food to relieve that stress, though, and, well, I'll say no more. What I mean is, this problem isn't going to be solved by taking off your shoes, you get me? Get that thinking cap on. Really? Find a way to get inside the huge saucer. Well, okay, first of all... It's a shrine, but feel no power. Okay, wait, how many shrines is that now? There's only two left over the entire place. Oh, where the frig am I? I am off the map. Or am I above? Whoa, okay. I'm over there. Which makes me wonder, are there other stuff, other... Are the other shrines off the map somewhere, like that? Like, there's a lake here. What in the hell is this insanity? Okay. Okay, I got an idea. Find a way to get inside the huge saucer. Okay, so there's two things I can think of. No. Oh, whoops. One is to put away my stuff. So I'm carrying a lot of things. Oh, wait. There's a much easier answer. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, wait. I wonder how far away... I'm guessing all the blue shrines are the ones I've activated and the red ones are the ones I haven't. Cat time. Can we get in like this? Oh, I know what this is. It's a scale, just like the one that's screwed up in the elevator. Warning, weight limit exceeded. Weight limit exceeded. Warning, no fatties allowed. Wow. You've got some nerve. Damn you! Listen up, you hunk of junk. We humans love destroying shit. We've been burning down shrines, libraries, villages, everything since way before you were around. Please excuse my insolence. I apologize for any inconveniences I may have caused. Please contact customer support for further click. Oh, jeez. Coward. Oh, so turning into a cat ain't gonna work. Fine. Alright, plan B. Plan B it is. Wait, what? Question mark. Excuse me? Question mark? Some kind of other scent here. Oh, maybe it's just the ship, honestly. Oh, it was just a bird, I guess. Okay, this is the only thing I can do. That I can think of. Uh, okay. Okay. So, store. There's no way I can just select all. <clears throat> oh, 
Wait, what? No, no, no. Get the old finger going. Uh, spam that button. That's everything I was carrying. It's the only thing I can think of. From here, at least. I mean, unless there's something that can make me lighter, this is all I can think of. Because turning into a cat apparently didn't work, and I'm guessing turning into a dog won't work either. All right, ship. Stonehenge. Hope that was right. What? What's happening? Oh. There's soil in the center of those stones. I wonder why. Wait, maybe this is a flower bed? A stone flower bed. That piece of junk back there did tell me to plant the seed. Wait, what? But, I, what? Okay, fine. I'll do that then. Well, I guess I'm supposed to plant something here if I want to go any further. Do I have anything plantable on me? Plant a time capsule. Plant Jack and G-O-891. Plant my undies. No. Yeah. Okay, this should work. Seriously? I threw the seed on the damn ground. What else do you want? Mm. Told me to plant the seed. But maybe the seed isn't the kind of kind that grows into a flower. Why do these puzzles always have to be so always have to be so stupidly vague? Uh, check. Okay, all done. Seeds in the ground. Now I just have to wait for the plant to grow. That's uh, how it works, right? <sighs> yeah, I guess I should try watering it a little too. Where do I get water? Seriously, where do I get water? Oh, no. You don't want me to... Oh, no. Really? <sighs> Seriously? Brits love huge, crazy weapons. But this is something else. How are all these things even connected? A UFO, the British Army, and a giant? Someone didn't think this through. All I know is that there's no turning back now. So I didn't need and to put all my shit away. Aliens? Ghosts? Wicker men? Bring it, bitches. Well, Alright, okay, Naomi. Calm down. Wait, how do I go up this? Uh, what? Oh god, do I have to cat? Yep, I have to cat. I have to cat my way up. Now, the cat is the way. <laughs> careful, careful. Am 
Oh god, I'm not gonna like it if I fall from here. Oh, okay. Go. There we go. There we go. Now. Ugh. Wait, what? Is there another one? Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Where do I... What? Oh, okay, up here. Eh. 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 I hate heights. I really, really hate heights. All right, kitty. I believe in. Oh. I'm taking more than a small step for mankind here. What in the? Why does this all seem so familiar? What? Where the hell am I? Uh, chickens? Mrs. Jasmine? Uh, okay, now I'm starting to get creeped out. <clears throat> hey, kid! Damn it! Obey your elders, you damn brat! Think you can outrun me because I'm a city slicker? I go to the gym once every three months! Oh, God. What are we doing now? <laughs> what the hell is happening? The Mrs. Jasmine-esque chickens that Simon keeps tossing out seem kind of dangerous. You don't want to let them hit you. Dodge the chickens and catch Simon before he escapes. He? He? Which one's si Simon? Oh god. Oh god. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Come here, damn it. Freaking kid. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Shit. <laughs> Oh, crap. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, what? Hi? Seriously? Uh, well, that's one way to make an entrance, David. I thought you said you were going to wait for me. We are the resistance's future. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> hey, Boy Scout? That's uh, a funny joke and all, but it's also a really old one. And your text is garbled, too. Yeah. We have been searching for a way to return to this place, but this host's body was far too heavy. The weight limit has prevented us from returning to the mothership for many cycles. Seriously? Wait, this isn't a joke? You're actually a real alien? Naomi Hayward, you did well to make it this far. We congratulate you for creating a path that this feeble host could follow. You used me? Affirmative. We had absolutely no interest in your mission to photograph this mine. Well, then, the least you could do is pay me for my help. <laughs> Feeble human, we no longer have any use for you. Damn you! Jeez, this is all so cliched. I can't even laugh at it. 
the hell am I supposed to do now? They said the word host. They must have taken over David's body. This is bad. If I'm not careful, their host may end up dying along with them. Any last words? Uh, um, er... Oh. What? Looks like aliens have taken over David's body and are trying to send him on a murderous rampage. As of now, you're the only one who can save him. There's no telling what kind of crazy powers those aliens have, but it's clear that they've given him some sort of superhuman ability. This won't be an easy fight, but if you keep a close eye on his movements, you're sure to find an opening. What? Okay, then. Ooh. Now go for it. Boss fight. Dog v cat. What in the hell is this? Plus one. Okay. <laughs> Are all those aliens out of your body now? Emma Macaulay. Sorry about what happened back there. The kid? Wait. No. You're someone else. Who the hell are you? We are aliens. No, I mean... For real. Just trust us. We are what you would call, in your language, a collective fungal intelligence. Oh! You're the moss! But perhaps the name Simon would be more comfortable for you. So, how about some answers? The glowing moss is a part of us. Everything is Simon. Seriously? Get out of here. You mean Mrs. Jasmine's an alien too? False. The organism you call Mrs. Jasmine is merely a type of communication device. A way for us to communicate with the British Armed Forces. So, kind of like carrier pigeons. But not. Birds have been messengers of the gods ever since the ancient days of the Celts. If you fit your birds with mass storage devices, they'd output even your silly fiber optic internet. They'd outpace even your silly fiber optic nope. internet. Okay, I think you're getting a little off topic here. Or maybe not. I'm confused. No, you are correct. We got off topic. We were operating protocol use trivia to lighten the mood. Was it successful? I think I'm gonna go now. Wait! It's been many cycles since we had the chance to showcase our impressive knowledge of random trivia. Bye. You all should probably go back to outer space, too. No. Wait. We'll... We'll give you some of our moss. Just a little. Seriously? Seriously? There you go. Okay, sign me up. 
Gratitude. Honestly speaking, we're currently at an impasse on how best to continue. Until now, we have gone to great lengths to maintain constant communication with the primitives. We also sometimes utilize human bodies in order to better research the planet Earth. Jeez. Like David and the kid? Affirmative. But there is concern that perhaps we have left, let things get out of hand. Well, yeah, anyone could have told you that. Such is the nature of tradition. Tradition and momentum are two sides of the same coin. And so, an accident occurred that prevented us from returning to our mothership for many cycles. Desperate to return, we attempted to take advantage of a primitive, then attempted to exterminate her. Seriously? What? You were seriously trying to kill me back there? Affirmative. Why do you doubt us? Damn you! Assholes! Wait, did you kill Elizabeth too? We have no knowledge of that incident. But... Perhaps we have absorbed too much of your thought patterns. Are you trying to say your brains got contaminated from too much contact with human beings? Affirmative. We must recompile our collective thoughts. We will subsequently cease further fraternizations with your kind for the immediate future. Farewell, Earthling. Okay. Hey, wait! Farewell, entity known as Naomi Hayward. We will also be taking back our <laughs> Hey, hold on! God damn it! So, the British Armed Forces were in contact with aliens to try and set up weapons to win World War Two. This is where Elizabeth was murdered. Oh, there's a shrine here too? Didn't notice that before. Great, just great. How the hell am I gonna write a report on this? Two. Oh. Several days later. Let me guess. We have to go talk to, um... We have to go talk to Strings. After waking up by the river, Naomi went to interrogate David and Emma. Asked they don't the remember any of us. David said, I found it while exploring and decided to research it a little. It was kind of mesmerizing, like... But when questioned about Elizabeth's murder, he said, I definitely didn't do it, fully denying Naomi's suspicions. After that, Naomi asked Emma about Simon. My only friends are Claire and Charlotte, she answered. Needless to say, Naomi's interrogations didn't add up to much. Hmm. Left at a seemingly dead end, she went to seek wisdom from Rudman White. David was detained at the White residence until suspicions could be cleared. While Emma was placed under supervision, just in case. Finally, the glowing moss discovered in the UFO was stored inside the safe at the town hall as important evidence. But Naomi kept the moss she found and sent some to the lab in New York for analysis. Yeah. Okay. Finally, time to check my mail. Wonder what Lucy had to say about this one. Okay. Why is it always so damn slow? Yeah. Finally, time to check my mail. Wonder what Lucy had to say about this one. Oh, okay. The glowing moss and RAF secret operations. Okay, here we go. Dear, Neo Dear Naomi Hayward, this is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. Congratulations on all the monumental progress you've made. Unfortunately, I do have bad news for you. After analyzing the glowing moss in the lab, Dr. Anderson was only able to conclude that it was a new type of peat moss. He also added that the theory you detailed in your report regarding how this moss was actually part of an intelligent alien life form was utterly impossible. Of course, I think it's still amazing that you were able to discover a new type of moss. 
Day after day, our researchers engage in heated discussions about what to name this new specimen. It's just unfortunate this discovery is a bit too plain to be called a real scoop, and has absolutely nothing to do with the secrets of Rainy Woods. Morning Bell News isn't an academic journal, after all. Next, regarding the UFO, unfortunately we weren't able to locate anything like what you mentioned in your report after inspecting the area with satellite photography. Your photographs were very intriguing, but unfortunately we're far past the age in which attention could be grabbed through headlines like UFO sighting photos inside. Some of our medical staff members are worried that you have hallucinated due to allowing your body temperature to drop too low. We recommend that you ask the nearest doctor for a checkup, just in case. And please feel free to invoice us for the medical fees. Do let me know if it turns out you need actual medical treatment. P.S. Personally, I thought the UFO photos were terrific, but they probably would have looked a bit realer if you'd blurred them a little. Yours were simply too clear, so the CG enhancements were too no just too noticeable. One of my editor friends is working on a Yeti special for next month, so let me know if you can hobble together any photos that fit the theme. With a nice, pretty snowscape in the background, of course. Morning Bell News, CEO's Office, Special Correspondent Division 2, Lucy Turner. Well... Okay. Dear Naomi Hayward, this is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. We had our investigative team look through your report and the photos of uh, photographs of RAF Stonehenge. We also looked into whether or not there's ever been a research project completed on Jack and the Beanstalk. In the end, we were unable to find any records of any such project or base. Of course, it could be it could just be a well-kept secret, which is why we found nothing of the sort written in any public documents. But our team's residing expert in British and military studies went out of their way to do some extra personal research and had this to say. I've done my best, but there is no historical evidence to suggest such a thing ever existed. Yes, I know about Operation Blue Peacock, but this is just taking things way too far. Still, it is true that we have found traces of a secret British army base, bases in the mountains and surrounding area around Rainy Woods, but currently our most popular theory is that these were cre all created as a joke, or perhaps to incite more local tourism, by one of the locals, and most likely by someone who knows their stuff when it comes to military affairs. These are very touchy subjects to deal with. People end up taking pictures of them because they're so interesting, and sometimes end up getting used by the original creators for copyright infringement. But yes, speaking of Operation Blue Peacock. Ah, sorry. You know who just walked by and yelled, and yelled, writing personal messages like that doesn't count as overtime. Go home already. You should be able to find out more about Operation Blue Peacock if you Google it. So check it out when you get a chance. Bye. Morning Bell News, CEO's Office, Special Correspondent to Division 2, Lucy Turner. What? You can Google Operation Blue Tough Peacock? Look, Naomi. Well, keep your up, eh? <laughs> What's up, Naomi? Uh, what? Uh-oh. <laughs> She's finally lost her mind. Hmm? I mean, I'm gonna call this an episode now in a second, but... What's happening? What? Excuse me? What did you do? She's up to something. A new type of peat moss? A new type of peat moss? Even if they're right, I know a ton of rich old farts who don't give a flying crap about scientific results. If I sell the glowing moss to them along with my UFO now, photos... Are you thinking about using the glowing moss for personal gain? No shit. <laughs> Stupid aliens. All I had to do was pout a little and bam. Oh, please, take some of our magical moss. Now I can hit up one of my expert pals and cultivate some more of this stuff. <laughs> <sighs> Let me guess. Yeah, What's baby. the name's going to show up? I did it. I finally found my own personal money tree. What? Money tree? Hugh Lee. Oh, God. Yeah, it's this guy. Eek. If there's any truth to that, Morning Bell News will need to take over that little operation of yours. And even if it isn't true, that sample still belongs to them. Seriously? 
What? According to your contract, Morning Bell owns the rights to all results and property yielded from this job. Therefore, that peat moss also belongs to Morning Bell. Damn you! God damn it, you greedy pigs! After climbing the beanstalk, Jack learned that treasure is only worth gaining if it requires effort. But what about Naomi Hayward? What did she learn from climbing her beanstalk? Damn you! <laughs> Jack can kiss my lily white ass. He probably only said that because he wanted to look good. I nearly killed myself on that goddamn mountain. <coughs> Give me it back. Give me back my moss, you evil hell spawn. Huh. Debt. Well, it paid off a bit more. Out of place artifact. Background check 101. Okay, so we're down to just... What? The one? Yeah, there it is. Alright, so I'm gonna call it here. So, well, first of all, let me save. Actually, we'll sleep for three hours... Three hours, and then we'll save. All right, so... <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for The Good Life on Steam if you do want to try it for yourself. Uh, however, this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. Also, check out links in the description for Neko Katako. She's a cat girl VTuber. Met her a couple months back. Very funny, very entertaining, and just honestly a very kind person. They've been very good to me. And so links in the description there for their Twitch and YouTube channels. Go check them out. You won't regret it. And in the next part, well... First I'm getting all my stuff back. Then we're going to check what the new photo, photo topics are. And then we will look into the third main quest line. And see what the hell is up. Until then, though... This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>